Okay, I have some decent uh, reparations. Uh, I have some, uh, not decent preparations, but uh, I had some practice with the car. Now the question is, can I change the setup? Unfortunately, I believe the setup is still not uh, is still not something we can uh, make here. So basically, we have just the default setup, which is oversteering a little bit, but I hope with some practice I can actually get used to the car. We have a few cameras. This one, this one, this one, which looks very beautiful, but it's a little bit behind, so I don't like it that much. And this one, which is what I'm going to use. No speed limiter here. Yet. Now let's try to focus. Once again, guys, this is only alpha version of the game. Don't expect too much yet. As you can see, I, can, I can't even change the setup. But I like the force feedback so far. It works pretty decent. Oh, man, I cannot break that late. I cannot break that late. As you can see, my frames are not that big, not that much, but uh, this is what my PC can handle, actually. Yeah, just don't like that oversteer on corner exit, uh, corner entry. Or maybe I'm just carrying too much pace, too much speed there. Okay, let's see if I can make one up without making mistakes. Yeah, once again too late on breaking. As I told you guys, I'm gonna need some time to get used to the new simulator. I, I had maybe around 10, 10 minutes of practice today. So it's not gonna be easy for me. The frames are not that good as you can see, only 60 frames at the moment. But it's enough for a demonstration. I like the song so far, even though I'm not a big uh, GT3 fan, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, you definitely cannot break that late with this car. Can I save it? No. 
at the moment all I need is to adjust my breaking point. Yeah, yeah, actually from the cars I tested, the Porsche was uh, one of the hardest because of the oversteer. The other ones were easier. This one just oversteers too much and I cannot change the setup as well. So I need to get used to it. Also, much oversteer on acceleration as well, not only on braking. This car is not easy, this car is not easy, I need, I need to change the setup, but I can't. Okay, at least one lap completed. Yeah, don't. But we need to, we need to have a to have a chance to change the setup. I can make the car much more reasonable if I have the chance. Hi Emu, I'm testing the new game buddy, the early alpha, or maybe it's pre-alpha, I'm not sure, I received a beta key for it, and I was like, I need to give it a try, and here we are at Porsche 911 at uh, Monza. Basically it looks like you need to be gentle with the car, not to push it over its limits and everything is looking fine. Yeah, that lap is going very well. Rear tires overheating a little bit. I think uh, I have a little bit of traction control which I don't like but I can change that. Okay, 51.1. Yeah, 
Yeah, not easy with the throttle. It just snaps so aggressively. Uh, yeah, the rears are overheating a little bit. Maybe this is the reason why I'm losing control of the car on acceleration. Also, what it's making, uh, uh, what I can see is that once the car goes uh, goes uh, over steer, you can you can't uh, catch it. You, you lose it, no matter what you do. You can't control the snap. Yeah, yeah, in a moment we will take a look at the other cars as well. But this one is very aggressive. It snaps like heck. Take a look at that. I believe the tires are just not, uh, the temps of the rear tires are not getting uh, down at all and this is the reason why I'm struggling with oversteer on acceleration mostly. Even though here at Monza we have so many long straights, it's strange that I have a trouble with tire temperatures so many places for the tires to cool down a little bit okay let's try to make one more without mistakes Uh, breaking too late. Mm -hmm. 
Or maybe the car just can go better than that. Yeah, actually, Dom, I was trying to uh, balance the car by touching the throttle, but it looks like with these modern vehicles, this is not helping. Maybe you're right, buddy. Maybe I need to leave the throttle completely on braking. You can also see the telemetry, the brake, the throttle. But yeah, I can definitely say it looks like the car is more stable on braking when I don't touch the throttle. Yeah, much better. Eh, hey, come on, this is not cutting. This looks just like Formula 1 and their rules for cutting, which are absolutely ridiculous. I was about to improve there. Great exit here from the first chicane. I'm getting used to the driving though. You just need to be gentle with this car and everything is actually happening. I don't know, maybe people with uh, more modern wheels than my Logitech G29, maybe they don't even have a, a, a problem with uh, oversteer or snapping understeer or something like that. Also, I don't, I, I'm not sure, but I believe the tire wear is off as well. Wow, this swap is going so well. Yeah, yeah, the game is cool. Don't get me wrong, guys. And this is only the early alpha. Only the early alpha. The only problem is that I cannot 
have better graphics with my PC. But at least on single player it's pretty much uh, drivable. And we are about to test the other cars and trucks as well, so it's fun, it's fun. I like it so far, especially the force feedback and the little details I have while I'm uh, touching uh, the bumps, for example, on the track. The little bumps. I like that, that uh, effect. And this is one of the best things in uh, my my dry, uh, my wheel, actually, the Watchtech G29. It works so so well with the little bumps on the track and uh, making them as a force feedback. Okay, able to break much later now. And this gives me four tenths already. Yeah, yeah, I believe, don't I? I set a notification for the online race, so everything should be fine. And I can definitely say it feels like a simulator, not like uh, a ha uh, um, not like a arcade or semi-arcade. It looks like a complete simulator, and I'm very, very curious to see uh, how much they will de develop the game during the next months and years. I like it. I like it, uh, RA. Even though I'm not the best GT3 driver by any means, but this is enjoyable. This is enjoyable. The only problem at the moment is that I cannot change the setup. The setup is locked. But I'm completely sure they will change that pretty soon. And maybe before releasing the beta version, we can change the setups as well. 